Imagine Iranian drones flying over South American skies today. We tell the story of Mohajer II and Mohajer VI exports. Two sanctioned nations cooperating, transferring technology, building indigenous capability. In this video, we explore this complex path step by step. From production history and design motives to Tehran Caracas cooperation, we will examine Mohajer II and Mohajer VI technical details carefully. We explain assembly in Venezuelan factories and local training programs. We also review export evidence, costs, official records, operational presence. Mohajer II refined lessons from Mohajer I after Iran's long war. Designed for close tactical reconnaissance and field surveillance missions, it has a slim, cylindrical fuselage, aft wings, twin tail booms, equipped with autopilot for stability and waypoint-following navigation. A two-cylinder, 25-horsepower engine drives a pusher propeller. Launched from pneumatic catapult and lands by skid or parachute. Communications range about 50 kilometers, endurance around 90 minutes. Fixed or gimbaled cameras send color or thermal imagery. The Mohajer 2N variant increased range and six-hour endurance. This light UAV served for years in Iran's armed forces, later transferred to regional partners and used operationally as well. For Venezuela, it underpinned technology transfer and started local assembly. Mohajer 6 is Iran's new combat reconnaissance generation of the 2010s. Larger dimensions, heavier weight, and precision weapons carriage capability. Advanced autopilot with automatic takeoff and landing is integrated. A stabilized EO turret provides day-night vision and laser designation. Wingspan about 10 meters, fuselage length roughly 7.5 meters. A piston engine produces approximately 115 horsepower. Maximum takeoff weight around 6 to 700 kilograms. Endurance near 12 hours. Operational ceiling 18,000 feet. Two underwing pylons with twin racks carry up to four munitions. Common armaments include Kime guided bombs and light Almas missiles. Built for long patrols, wide area surveillance, and precise strikes, it cements Iran's place in multi-role armed UAVs as well. The partnership's roots trace to early 2000s between capitals. Hugo Chavez sought diversified defense technology and closer ties. Reports suggested UAV knowledge transfer began as early as 2001. A formal step came in 2007 with a signed contract. A deal for 12 Mohajer II kits for local assembly, valued roughly $28 million at the time, included technology transfer, training, and establishing a local assembly line. High figure implied infrastructure coverage and possible ancillary costs. Codes Aviation shipped components and training was conducted for Venezuela. Cavum factory at Libertador Air Base was equipped and activated. By 2009, the first drones were assembled on the line. In 2012, Chavez publicly unveiled the National UAV program. The local names ARPIA, or code ANSU-100, were adopted. Stated specs, 4-meter length, 2.5-meter span, 10,000-foot ceiling, 90-minute endurance, and unarmed reconnaissance mission initially defined. Confirmed engineers completed specialized courses inside Iran. Venezuela used ARPIA for counter-narcotics, border patrol, and oil protection. Air Group 8 for ISR and EW was designated operator. Several early crashes reflected learning curve of technology transfer pilot program matured into a national UAV capability. Upgrades added landing gear instead of the skid. Communications and range improvements approached Mohajer 2N standards. Armed ANSU-100 developed with anti-armor and anti-personnel capabilities. Caracas Parade 
displayed four different munitions under the wings. After UN arms embargo ended, cooperation accelerated significantly. Speculations about Mohajer 6 strengthened by images and statements. A model beside Maduro signaled the program's future technology path. Reports indicated precise guided munitions were transferred as well. Israel's defense minister presented images linked to Mohajer 6 Venezuela. Assessments mentioned SKD kits or complete drones being delivered. Later reports reinforced Mohajer 6 presence in Venezuelan order of battle. Kime bombs displayed beside UAVs highlighted strategic partnership. AANSA emerged as a joint industrial arm of Kavim and Convisa, mandated to service, upgrade, and potentially produce Iranian UAVs. ANSU-200 flying wing project pursued, inspired by Iranian designs. Imagery showed Iranian components within local assembly lines. Dozens of Venezuelan engineers trained in avionics and guidance. Iranian teams rotated to provide practical training and supervision. A specialist UAV cadre gained capability to manage independently. Politics slowed briefly, then sanctions pressure renewed momentum. Initial 12 aircraft Mohajer 2 contract totaled $28 million. Costs covered production line, training, infrastructure, secure communications. Reports alleged intermediary payments and cover projects were involved. Mohajer 6 unit price is multi-million, cheaper than foreign peers. For Iran, revenue and political influence accrue simultaneously. For Venezuela, relative defense autonomy and improved deterrence result. Logistical dependence on Iranian parts and weapons forged strategic linkage. Technology export beyond the Middle East was consolidated and expanded. The United States and allies closely monitored joint UAV efforts. Sanctions targeted codes aviation and related entities later intensified. After UAV exports surfaced, specialized sanctions architecture expanded further. Warnings addressed missile transfers and precision-guided munitions too. The July 5, 2022 parade was a public milestone. ANSU-100, with pixel camouflage, passed the official reviewing stand. Commentator listed reconnaissance, anti-armor, anti-personnel, CEAD missions. Debut of flying wing ANSU-200 signaled future technological ambition. Reports described night strikes on insurgents near Apure border. Claimed armed UAVs played key roles in ground engagements. During Operation Gideon, reconnaissance drones enabled timely threat detection. Energy, border, and environmental missions regularly receive UAV support. Parade and exercise imagery spread widely through local media. Regional analysts saw a shifting military balance emerging. Rivals assessed Iranian drones' impact with evident concern. Venezuela effectively became the region's first indigenous armed UAV holder. This partnership showcases technology relocation under sanctions pressures. Iran exported UAV know-how and created strategic dependence simultaneously. Venezuela built indigenous capacity and sketched potential export pathways. A new defense chapter beyond the Middle East has begun.